Hi guys. Hi. Long time no see, right? I know it's been a while. I'm going to explain. So please forgive me. Please forgive me. I don't know what to do. But forgive me, guys. The thing is. <sighs> So you know what for my first time as those who are just seeing this video for the first time i'm going to just explain to my community because i know you're going to join this community so let me just apologize now before i invite you to this community 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 right now the thing is classes just started like say like two weeks ago and that's why i've not dropped any videos for like two weeks now because of the classes sometimes i have classes morning afternoon to 8 p.m at night yes sounds ridiculous but it's you know what it's not an in-class thing it's online yet <laughs> it is stressful because you have to pay serious attention like up attention to a particular class you need to listen it's not like when you're in the class looking at the board you have to just listen you have to look at the screen you have to like start you have to everything is working it's not like driving your front your back everywhere isn't everything you are using every, you are using every angles you know just to make sure you get whatever the lecturer is saying so that's why you've not seen me it's been quite busy so forgive me guys forgive me forgive me forgive me now welcome to my new 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 friends welcome to abby's corner welcome to this beautiful community welcome to this blessed community welcome to my beautiful Today, um i just went to talk about the topic kindness um basically the importance of kindness because i feel like nowadays the world is angry nobody sees being kind as important in fact people feel like if you are too kind um it's equated to foolishness like when you're too kind people just take it for granted when you're too kind people just treat you anyhow but i'm just here to tell you that it's good to be kind it's basically good to be kind um like i feel like kindness would you know sorry guys i feel like um kindness would basically change not just you as a person it's going to change your immediate community and definitely spread spread around the world and i feel like the fact that a particular person is not kind it's kind of pollutes wherever you are take for example i'm sorry and i'm going to use the example it's a very living example maybe many people are going, are going to like you know you're going you're going to um get a clearer picture yeah i'm going to get a clearer picture of what i'm trying to talk about i feel like for example in some countries where you have a bad leadership you will discover that that particular kind of eco the economy of that particular country would be polluted there will be sadness everywhere i mean like there will be it's more like there's a there's drought in that particular country there'll be sadness there'll be riots there'll be all sorts of things poverty especially when you are in a particular country where there is no kindness where the leadership and the leadership is actually lag, lagging behind when it comes to kindness or where the, where the system lacks kindness you would see that there's definitely going to be this instability in that particular um country or that particular community yes we believe that you know um and that's true when it comes to like a country's economical boost it has to do with economics has to do with politics has to do with a lot of things but at the same time i feel like it also has to do with character because kindness if, if a particular leader is kind the the whole community the citizens would experience that joy they experience a particular kindness it's just like you know when the tap is flowing and it's just flowing free, freely everybody enjoys the benefits of that particular water coming from the tap 
but when it's been short when a particular community doesn't have water or that no they're not exp- they're, they're not they're not having good water supply we say that community is going to experience droughts there'll be sickness there'll be a lot of things going on that particular community simply because there is no water so that's how it is with kindness if you're not kind to people around you you are going to definitely be sad you'll be deprived yourself of a lot of, of, a lot of things because once you are kind people tend to bless you it opens doors for you when you are kind as a person so i'm going to talk about an individual right now because it starts from a particular person starts on the individual before it extends to the family unit before it extends to your community before it extends to 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 to, to you know different states before it now extends to the nation and then to, extends globally so i feel like it's important um to be kind to others if someone is going through something it doesn't hurt for you to be you know to be kind you don't say ah Oh, because I'm going to pass a particular kind of thing. Or oh, what are you going to that I'm not also going through? No, don't say, uh, don't say, don't say, don't 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 actually feel that because you are going through stops, you can't be kind to others. You can't, you know, be that shoulder that someone can cry on. Because I go through stop every day, and I see people are going through things. I see kind of encourage them, saying that you know things are going to be better, and um, things are going to be good. Even if I'm going through stops, I know sometimes we can be overwhelmed by our own personal issues and I will forget those around us. But sometimes it's, it's good that we, you know, try to be there for others. You know, I don't know, but yeah, there's a part passage in the Bible that says, Job prayed for his friend because and said for the place where he prayed for his friends it does like the same way um, when god asked solomon in the bible okay ask for anything and he said he wants wisdom wisdom and because he had wisdom he could relate with people well with wisdom he could settle issues well and that even brought in more riches so i feel like when you are selfish when you hold on to things when you are always angry you you you, you tend to bring in you know negative energy that prevents good things from coming to, into your life so i just feel like we should I implore everyone to like embrace kindness like the world would be a better place if we are kind to one another people are wicked yes but do not say because people are wicked are going to be wicked back to this person let's extend our hands of friendship uh, our hands of goodness to others i was watching a particular um no, I think it was an advert that actually popped up on my um when I was watching a video on YouTube of this particular guy who as a child he took care of his mom who had a particular sickness, uh, she had a bad immune system because of a gas leak in their house. And then for a lot of I think since he was 18, he was taking care of his mom. But now when he was not 18, he had to travel to New York and then he was partying he just was living that kind of life i think he was organizing yeah he was organizing parties he organized parties people would come to spend money spend money on alcohol but deep within him he felt like he wasn't happy he wasn't doing the right thing and then um he was searching for a lot of um, organizations like where he could go volunteer um fortunately after applying applying he actually got into he actually got one or where it was a doctor and his family that traveled to Africa to go, you know, help sick children, help sick communities. And while he was doing that, he he just said, you know what, this was this is actually his destiny. Because he felt he was doing something good to people. He felt it was he felt like he felt that he felt like everything he was doing was actually, you know, it was it was changing him, it was making me feel better. Like he was being kind to others and so from there inside his own community he discovered that people were falling sick having cholera this century because of bad water people were actually drinking dirty water in that particular community i can't remember the, the country in africa but he went back to his country now these parties that was actually organizing he i think kind of set up a particular go fund me to just like for every for every event he did anyway he was he showed them. He did like he did like um like a, a slide. Like a, he got actually project what was happening in the community. People were giving out money, and now today as organization, I forgot the name. It was something about water, but it's about providing water to many African communities, many underdeveloped communities in the world, and that is one act of kindness, which has actually 
changed him and transformed his life. Now he's married, he has his children, he's okay, he's living good simply because he chose to be kind to others and not, you know, be selfish and not, you know, live that kind of life that I'm living like, oh, I want to just enjoy this life and kill myself, you know, let me just kill myself and then you forget about others and you would you actually discover at the end of the day you are going on the path of destruction so it's important that we are kind to others it's important we are kind as a, you know when when if you're in a relationship be kind to one another i have a year of different um situations whereby a man kills his killed his wife and i'm wondering and there's one i, I heard yesterday someone in the u.s who um killed his wife i don't know why he shot his wife but now he's in prison and he's a and is a pastor so i'm kind of wondering i don't know what happened i, I don't feel everything should be about spiritual maybe it's a spiritual matter i won't say spirituality he's a pastor yes but it might be about character so i feel like as a human being consciously work on yourself consciously work on your character because it seriously it's it's not really easy like <laughs> i know it's not easy but we meet a lot of human human beings are, one, are, are the most complex in the world like we're very complex very, very complex people and very complex even deal with so sometimes consciously train yourself to build the right character whether in your marriage whether in a particular friendship whether in a particular relationship consciously build on your character people would step on your toes but try to hold yourself then mm -mm, you say today i'm not going to talk i'm not going to say this it's tempting i feel like blowing this person I feel like giving this person a punch but you say no i'm going to hold myself i'm going to make sure i control my words from my mouth i'm going to make sure whatever i say is going to build someone up what i'm going to say is not going to shatter someone's destiny not going to shatter someone's um, self-esteem it's very very important and please if you are with people around you who are not kind who derive pleasure in seeing you sad or derive pleasure in putting down your efforts if you do anything a person is always like oh uh, uh, no bad remarks bad criticisms bad critiques please walk away from that kind of situation for i keep on saying it's for your mental health and for your sanity so guys it's important for you to be kind and i hope um with these few points of mine i'm able to convince you and not confuse you that kindness is the key to permanent and everlasting joy um so guys take care of yourself once again subscribe to my channel guys I beg you subscribe to this channel help me reach at least in this 2020 a thousand a thousand subscribers help me let me have a thousand subscribers guys 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 if you love this content also like share comment 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 if the button for also comment okay guys thank you guys for watching so we see you again next week by god's grace stay blessed be good be kind thank you bye